This kinematics problem is pretty typical of the type of problem you'll see when you learn acceleration formulas and uniform motion formulas. The reason is um, it mixes the two up. We've got an object that starts from rest, gets faster, then it stays at constant speed, and then it slows down and stops. So I'm dividing it into three sections because you can't solve a problem like this all at once because you have five acceleration formulas for this section. You've got one, constant velocity, V equals V over T for this section, and then when it's slowing down, you have only one formula for this section. So I put the numbers here of the information you know. This object starts from rest, accelerates at 5 meters per second square, and travels a distance of 80 centimeters. Well, wait a second. We never use centimeters. Check your units. Meters per second, meters per second squared. This is going to be in meters. So that equals 0 0.8 meters. The middle section, I know it stays at some velocity for 4 seconds. And then it begins to slow down to, a rep to stop, which means V2 is 0. And you do that for 2.5 seconds. Well, in any time you're dealing with acceleration, you need three things, and then you can solve for anything you want. I have three things, three variables in the first section. So I can find anything I want about this part of the trip, the speeding up part of the trip. The uniform motion or constant velocity section, you only have one formula, V equals D over T. And since it's constant velocity, you need two things to be able to solve for the other one. And I've only got one, so I'm going to need more information here. And this section, this section is where the object is slowing down. Well, when it's slowing down, it's, that's a form of acceleration. And so I need three things, but I've only got two. So I'm missing one here, I'm missing one here, and i got everything I need here. That's the trick to this problem. Whenever you see this very typical problem, the final velocity for this section, it starts at rest and gets faster. Then it gets to a certain speed, and it stays at that same speed for a while. So the final velocity here is the velocity for this constant velocity section. Then this section, the constant velocity, it stays at until it gets to here, it starts to slow down. Well, that means V1 for this section is the velocity it was traveling at in that section. So if I find V2 over here, using the velocity here and the initial velocity for the final section. So let's find V2, because I know I'm going to need it, because I can't find the displacement here without a third variable, and I can't find the displacement here without a second. So I'm going to use V2 squared equals V1 squared plus 2AD. I use that because it's got the variable I want. So V2 squared equals 0 squared plus 2 times 5 times 0 0.8. Make that a little bit neater. 0 0.8. So V2 squared equals 8. So V2 is the square root of 8, which is 2.8 meters per second. I now know how fast it was going at the end of this interval, and that's important because this number is equal to the velocity in this section, 2.8 meters per second. And this velocity that it stays in, at in this section is the velocity it enters this section at. So in this section, V1 is 2.8 meters per second. Now I've got two here, I need two to find the third. I've got three here, I need three to find it. In. So, how far did this thing travel in total? Well, it traveled uh, 0.8 meters in the first section, so I already know that. How far did it travel in the second section? D equals V times T. Uniform motion V equals D over T, rearrange it, D equals V times T. So it's going to be V 2.8 times T, which is 4, and that works out to 11.2 meters. So, 0 0.8 meters in the first section, 11.2 meters in the second section. How far did it travel in the third section? Well, I'm looking for D. I got V1, V2, and T. So I'm going to use this equation. D equals V1 plus V2 over 2 times T. Because it's got all the variables I'm discussing. V1, V2, T, and it's got D is what I'm looking for. So D equals V1 2.8 uh, plus V2, which is 0, plus 0, divided by 2 times T, 2.5. So D equals 3.5 meters. So this object went 0 0.8 meters, 11.2 meters, and 3.5 meters. So the total displacement is 0 0.8 plus 
it's 11.2 plus 3.5. The total is, I hope this is still in the video frame, the total is 15.5 meters. Let's call that 16 meters forward. There you go. 